Hello YouTube! I have a massive grin on my face because we are continuing the Monsica 10 year anniversary reacts with the one I am the most excited for, the one I am anticipated the most, one of my favorite artists of all time, Grant, or Grant Bowtie, because it's from 2015. Can you hear it? Is the name of the song, and I want to hear it. I want to listen to it. I am a huge Grant fan. Uh, I'm actually gonna go check right now. Um, when was his bow tie stuff? Uh, yeah, 2015 was his first uh, one. Uh, July 27th, or was it his last one? Oh, that was his last one. Never mind. So this would have been towards the uh, latter half of his Grant bow tie days. Um, cause High Tide was his last one as Bowtie and it came out, uh, July of 2015. So, uh, also, fun fact, um, I didn't, did not get the inspiration for Bowtie Media from Grant Bowtie. I totally forgot about Grant Bowtie at that time, but it's a happy coincidence. So, here we go, without any further ado, my, the one I most anticipated for, I hope it doesn't let me down. <laughs> Who knows, I've hyped this up way too much in my head. Here we go, can you hear it from 2015? Grant Bowtie. Oh, I like this already. Come on. I'm a sucker. What? Whoa, this is weird. Oh, so that beginning sound totally was the, like the mini intro for what was it, Move On or Won't Be Alone? It, like the crush. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was Move On. Super interesting. What is this? This is so unique. This is so unique. I definitely feel the bow tie in this though. His older grand bow ties. Oh, this is... Some of those sounds sound like something from Starship. The vocals are super interesting. I have no idea what they're saying. I heard thank you for all there, but... This is such a unique song and take from Grant. Just sporadic here. Yeah, second drop. Big fan. That was a, I think a Galantis hay in there, same sample or whatever. Super interesting song. Wow. Huh. 
Wow, okay. That was just, uh, I just, there's a lot going on in that song. Um, dang. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, that, um, I think that sounded the least Grant-like of any song I, he's come out with yet. Um, it just felt uh, different from his normal style or routine or just uh, his specific sound design that he creates or the atmospheres that he does. Even uh, stuff like uh, Move On where it was a little bit more poppy and less future race oriented, it still, uh, it still sounded like Grant at the core. And while this song obviously does still sound like Grant or Grant Bowtie at the core, it's just so different. He's never played with vocals like that before to the extent that he did with this one. Um, the, the second drop, the second drop felt like the perfect middle point between a Grant Bowtie and Grant, the two different aliases. And I know it was just the evolution um, of his alias or his musical persona, uh, but that really felt like the biggest uh, transition point between the two. Um, yeah. Dang, that was just a super interesting song. I really want to know, I really want to, I need to spend some more time with this one. Um, it reminded me a bit of, uh, this guy, he's, I think it's fairly underrated, Xavi, X-A-V-I, um, that does like this, uh, really coolly glitchy, melodic, either future based or dubstep stuff over here and there, and doesn't really do an actual genre, but it sounded like a mix of Xavi and like an old Grant Bowtie to me. Um, that will not make sense for a lot of you, <laughs> but to me, I think that, especially that first drop and first section sounded like it. Xavi loves to use those kind of vocal stuff. Um, or to do all the stuff they did with the vocals there. Uh, but wow, okay. That really came out of left field. I was not expecting that. I also wasn't expecting vocals at all. Um, or what it, that, yeah, that at all. I wasn't expecting any. I'm, I can't even remember, did Grand Bote do any vocals? Cloud Nine, Cloud None. Yeah, Cloud Nine. I didn't say it right, but then I corrected myself because Cloud Nine. Uh, Cloud Nine, High Tide, Reach, and Clockwork. I don't think I had any vocals on them. And I, I heard Candy once. I don't remember it, though. Um, so that was, uh, yeah, that was a really interesting take with, uh, like, a glitchy, more processed robotic vocals. Um, I, I did enjoy that second drop, I think, more than the first. Uh, and I just, I, I kind of want to get that one, well, I will get that one some more time, obviously, but uh, I think that one will change a lot over time with me. Uh, I was super impressed with that, though, and it felt, uh, I think the last thing I'll say about it is, um, it didn't feel monster catty. That, that will, that someone will just say, someone will, some of you immediately went, yes, absolutely. Some of you meant, some of you just went, what the heck are you even talking about? There's songs where, like, you listen to like even EDM that's made by Monster Cat artists that aren't a Monster Cat. Um, you just hear songs like, oh, this doesn't sound like a, a Monster Cat song. You kind of have this weird thing in your head that you can only, you can't really describe at all. It's just a feeling or a sense of yes or no. Um, and this one didn't didn't feel like a Monster Cat song, if that makes sense. Maybe just because I've, they really don't do vote. There's really, there's very few songs on the label that do that stuff with the vocals. Uh, probably one of the, like, if, I'm trying to think of the, if there's any that do it to, to the extent that they did with those vocals. Because um, I've listened to every song on the label. Uh, so, yeah, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. It's hard to explain, but I like it. That's not a bad thing. That's not a, that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, but I just, yeah, that was just super unique, super interesting, fun take on the genre, fun take on a Grant style, and uh, big thumbs up, Grant. I was a uh, double thumbs up. I was, I was impressed. Um... Yeah, just as a bit of a caveat, uh, I don't know when all these are videos are going to be released because I'm releasing them the days that they release on the YouTube videos, but I've listened to every song, like, as I'm recording this, I've listened to every song except for, I believe, three, um, and uh, this is my favorite of them so far. So this would, uh, this, it depends. If uh, the ones I haven't listened to at this point is Stephen Walking's song, Subtact, and World. So if one of those can overtake it, uh, this is currently my favorite song as of this weird moment in time where you don't actually know when this is. And yeah, I probably shouldn't even say that at all. But let me know in the comment section below what you think of this song of Grant Bowtie. Was this just like totally out of left field? Did you not like this? Did you love it? Did you think it was amazing? I would love to hear any and all comments in the comment section below. Obviously that's where they go. But other than that, I have been Bowtied Media and I will see you guys in another video.